It's fall, and if you have trees, you probably have leaves that you have to deal with. So it's time to get out the rake, bag up all those leaves, and have them hauled off, right? Wrong. At this time of year, millions of Americans gather up their leaves, put them by the road, either in bags or with their blower, and have them hauled off by these big trucks that take them wherever they take them. Why? Because we don't want those leaves littering up our precious lawns. But there are so many other better uses for those leaves that are more sustainable and that can actually help produce more food for you and your family. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of those ways that you can better use those leaves. Last couple of years I've had this goal of becoming a better steward of creation trying to learn more about permaculture and sustainable agriculture and with that there comes a change in mindset a change a mindset that is very different from the consumerist mindset that is prevalent in our society that just wants to buy and spend our way out of everything instead of trying to learn how to better manage the resources that are available. And believe it or not, leaves are resources too. And the first and probably easiest way to use leaves as a resource is for mulch around your trees. Most of this property that we farmstead on is wooded. And over the years, to get this place to be more productive, more food producing for us, I've had to remove a number of trees. However, we still have a lot of trees here. And one of the lessons of permaculture is to observe the patterns in nature and, and to work with them, work with the patterns that are naturally here in creation. And one of the things that I have noticed uh, of, of having a property that is mostly wooded is some of the things that the trees do and one of those things is if you watch a tree when the leaves fall at this time of year what that tree is doing is it is naturally mulching itself so there's been a number of leaves that have dropped here around this tree so what I'm doing as part of a steward here is I'm just working with these leaves, making sure to kind of keep them a little bit tidier around the trees in the area that we want the leaves to be in, but the clear off areas that we're walking in and where we, where we want grass to be able to grow freely. I too understand that there's some areas on your property that you do want to keep nice and tidy, like walkways and areas like that. You probably don't want to have leaves on those areas. But instead of just having them hauled off, move them into areas that they can be better utilized in, like mulch around your trees, your shrubs, your fruit trees, and other trees that you care about because that mulch is really going to provide them with some protection, protection from erosion, from traffic induced, water, wind. It's also going to help regulate the temperature of the soil. In the winter months it's going to help keep that soil warm for that root system and then in the hotter months it's going to keep that soil cool. It also helps to reduce weed pressure and all this helps protect the root system of the trees and the shrubs so that way these plants can be healthier and even grow faster. But you do want to make sure that you don't mound up your mulch around your trees. You want to spread it out evenly and not too close around the trunk of your tree or shrub. And the second option that you have for your leaves is you can just leave them or you can cut them up with your lawnmower. Just take your lawnmower and go over it a few times and we'll cut those leaves up to a degree. Or if you have a lawnmower that has a mulch setting on it, just put it onto that and it will cut those leaves up into tiny little shredded pieces. And those leaves, whether you cut them up or you just leave them, are free natural fertilizer for your soil and your lawn. But I do want to mention that you don't want to leave those leaves on too thick unless you want to get rid of the grass because it will smother it out if it's too thick. But either way, it's adding good fertilizer to your soil. 
And a third way that you can use those leaves is in your fall slash winter garden around your fall winter crops and similar to the mulch for trees adding mulch leaf mulch around your plants will also aid in keeping the proper moisture there soil temperature and all those things that help protect your plant that will aid it in producing more food for you and the fourth option for your leaves is another use in the garden and that is adding your leaves to a compost pile all you need to do is gather those leaves up with a lawn vacuum, a mower with the bagger, or simply rake those leaves up. Whatever you need to do to gather them up and take them to your compost pile. If all you have is a rake and you want an easy way to gather those leaves up, you can simply take a tarp, figure out a right size that works for you, connect two poles, one on each side, to the tarp, And here you have an easy way of gathering up leaves. You can either add the leaves directly onto the compost pile or you can shred up those leaves and then add them to the compost pile. But shredded leaves will break down into your compost much faster. I really like this compost ring here. It's from GeoBin and it works really great. In this particular pile right here, we're mixing in leaves with some turkey feathers from Thanksgiving and just some other things that will make some really good compost later on. And a fifth way to use those fallen leaves is to make leaf mold or as I like to call it leaf only compost. So you gather up those leaves and you make a compost pile or put them in a compost ring. Leaves that aren't shredded will take about a year or so to break down and be ready to use. And most people if you ask them if they would rather have horse or chicken manure versus leaf compost, they're going to pick the chicken manure because of the high nutrients that both chicken manure and horse manure have. However, leaf compost is really good at helping to build soil structure, especially in heavy soils. So if you take those leaves now and make a leaf only compost pile, those leaves will be ready to add to your garden next year and will be beneficial bacteria fungi and all that that will help your plants and your soil thrive and the sixth way to use those leaves which is related is just go ahead and shred those leaves up and then you can use them in your soil now and then you can put them either on top of the soil or you can till them into your soil whatever your preference is and that will really help build that soil structure for your garden in the spring and the summer. And the seventh way to use those leaves is with your animals, your livestock. You can take some of those leaves and they'll be great for your chicken coop or inside your nesting boxes for where your chickens are gonna lay your eggs. And you can also do what I like to do at this time of year. We start to bring in our animals closer to home during these colder months and I'll take our chicken tractors and we'll put them directly in the garden. All right. So this here will just provide them some nice clean bedding. You know, just scratch and spread it around, scoop on top of it. And at the same time, they'll be fertilizing this bed and the leaves will be adding some good organic matter. Say that with me, organic matter.
Just don't scratch at it. So we're gonna try to spread this one out a little bit more. Bring it to the front too. <laughs> They'll still spread out some. They just don't quite scratch around in the leaves the same as stuff. They'll eat some of the leaves too. But they'll trample it down and it'll just kind of blend right in there with the poop. So as we're raising these animals, they're also helping to benefit the garden so that way the soil is even better. And then the eighth and final way that you can use your leaves is just to heap them up in a big pile somewhere for the natural wildlife to enjoy. It makes a great habitation for box turtles, for moth and butterfly caterpillars to have an environment that will help keep them protected and help them flourish during the colder months because those piles will provide heat and protection for them during these colder months. So there you have it, eight ways that you can better utilize the leaves on your property instead of treating them like litter or trash that need to be hauled off. No, you can use them in a much more sustainable way that can help produce more food for you and your family. So put those leaves to work and use that resource.